Hey, this is The Fighter. I'm here now with Jay-Z Calvacanti. How's it going, Mr. Calvacanti? Everything good, man. Thank you. All right, good to know. And you're coming off now your recent fight that you had in Strikeforce, Strikeforce uh, debut, if you will, against Josh Thompson. Now, that fight didn't quite go your way. Let's talk a little bit about that fight. Yeah, the fight didn't go my way on the judges, you know, like on the judges score. But I, I did pretty well in the fight, you know. I thought I won the fight. Uh, but th that's already in the past, you know. I'm looking forward to you know whatever. I would like to get a rematch. I think it's going to be fair. If they get me there, I'm going to be happy. Now, unfortunately, i got to nag a little bit more about the past. So do you actually agree with that decision? No, I don't agree with this. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Don't know. But don't know, I did my job. The, half re the, the judge, they didn't do their job. So it's not my fault. Do you feel that Strikeforce might be protecting some of their champions or any of their fighters, for that matter? I, I don't know if you like a Strikeforce doesn't have nothing to do with this, you know, with the judgment thing. You know, that's the commission, the boxing commission. So most of the thing, you got appointed the boxing commission. You know, they should have at least like a a crew to just judge MMA. You know, because I know it's hard for those guys. Also, one day they are judging MMA, one day they are judging boxing. You know, so it's kind of weird. You know. So they should get a focus, just to like set up a, a crew of guys and just fight, uh, just judge MMA. Now, does Strikeforce have enough depth for you in their lightweight division? Sorry, that I didn't understand the oh. question. Uh, are there enough fighters for you to fight in the Strikeforce lightweight division? Yeah, they, they have Josh, you know, they have KJ Nunes, they have Gilbert Melendez, you know, good guys, Lilo Beerbomb, you know, so it's a, it's pretty good, you know, and now especially because they work with Japan, you know, so I can fight Aoki, Kawajiri, all those guys in Japan also, so it's good. And a lot of fans will remember you, in fact, from your glory days of fighting in Japan, sort of some great times. I wasn't there, but I saw him on TV. <laughs> yeah, that was good. It was a good time, you know, but I got to move forward, you know, I want to do the same thing I did in Japan, now here in the U.S. Now, one thing I've always wondered is, you know, Japanese MMA nowadays, it seems like it's not as popular as it was a few years ago. Do you happen to see that as well, and why do you think that is? No, no, that's true, you know, like, a, uh, I don't know, they are struggling a lot of points, you know, uh, Japo the Japanese style to do things is really, like, it's really weird, you know, especially for us here in the, in the West, so kind of crazy there how things go, you know, and I think, like, the... the the crowd, the fans are still really respectful, they love MMA, you know, but they need, like, a, the, 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 the events, they need to get together and work really good, you know, like, a, things like, a, translate the Japanese for English, you know, they, they just think too local, you know, they should be more worldwide. All right, now, someone who you fought in your past, again, go back to the past, I'm sorry, I'm bad like that, but <laughs> Shinya Aoki, do you want to have a rematch with him at some point in the future? Yeah, because he's a top guy, you know, I want to fight the top guys, you know, he's like, a, he's on top of the list, you know, so I want to fight all the top guys, you know, see where I am. There have been some people that kind of say that Shinya Aoki is a little overrated. Would you agree with that statement? Uh, not really, you know, because of what he's doing, you know, he's been submitting people, you know, so he deserves to be there, you know. I know you fought in Strike Force, you fought in Japan, you fought all over the world, but you've never fought in UFC. Why is that? Uh, because it's hard to deal with, with, with UFC, you know. Uh, my manager already spoke with them before, but I had uh, I was locked in the contract with Japan, and then like uh, now I'm going with a strike force because uh, I can fight both, you know. In UFC, if I fight UFC, I just can fight UFC. So they don't want to pay as much they was paying me in Japan. So it's kind of hard for the fighter, you know, to choose. Okay, I'm not gonna get paid, and uh, for sure I'm gonna get paid, but not that much, you know and just fighting for them, you know, it's kind of hard for me at the point I am. So you kind of like not having to be exclusive for a company? Yeah, it's better for me, you know, so I can fight both, you know. But I hope Japan goes good again so I can still fight in there. We all do. Now, we're here in New York today. I know you're not a resident New Yorker, but I have to ask this, since we are here at the MMA World Expo in New York City, what's it going to take for mixed martial arts to be legalized here in New York? Uh, bro, I, I don't know because it's my first time in New York, you know, I don't know much about here, but I don't know. I don't know why it's not, you know. Uh, I, all over, you know, in the U.S., almost all, all the states is already uh, allowed, you know. I should, here should be good, you know. They have a lot of people, you know, people interested to see the expo going, going on here. So I think the, they're making a mistake, you know. Should bring more money to, you know, more tourists. I've never been here because they don't have MMA here. <laughs> you know, if they have MMA, I, I, for sure a lot, of, a lot of guys should be coming, you know, to visit the city. So since this is your first time here ever in New York, right? Yeah, my first time ever. So you have any plans outside of the expo? Are you going to go do any sightseeing? 
Uh, yeah, I want to. I don't know if I'm gonna have time, you know, <laughs> because I'm leaving after right after the expo. But I'm happy today. I went to train for Marcelinho Garcia, a friend of mine, you know. So I'm really happy to get the opportunity to meet his gym, to, to, to know his gym, and train for him. All right, well, hopefully we'll see more of Jay Z here in New York. Jay Z, thanks for your time today. Thank you, thank you, guys. Man, thanks for the opportunity.